Hey Epic Fan Plays, Sodi here back again with a new video. So today I'll be trying out the newly released Glen and also Sonya. So as for Glen, I went with a speedy DPS build. So I'll be attacking teams with Arbiter Vildred and Ruel today with him because his S2 has Extinction, so he basically counters teams with Revive. Um, as a unit, he has really low base attack, it's about 900 something. However, he does give himself greater attack buff, so that will probably solve his issue of having low base attack. So we'll have to see how he performs in terms of damage. As for Sonya, I did not have time to 6 star her, however she's basically a immunity buffing healer so she doesn't need much, just lots of HP since her heals scales off of her max HP. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the guild wars. We've got 12 hours to go. So let's have a look. Right, so we got Arbiter Vildred and Remnant Violet in the same team. Hmm. Let's have a look at the other towers. Alright, that's an Arbiter Vildred here too. Interesting. Um uh, what about the one in bronze? Um Hmm. Ruel plus Remnant Violet. Interesting. Alright, so the one in Bronze Mirror has a Remnant Violet. Uh, I think I'll attack the one in Dalberg first. Alright, let's go. Alright, for the first battle, I'll bring my Glen. Hmm, I think Kraus pretty good because he will be baiting the enemy shells. So for the third spot, I want to bring a healer. I'll go with Ruel. Um, this way, if the enemy shouts, proxies Elbris and takes out my Glen, Ruel can revive him. For the second battle, do I want to bring Fallen Cecilia? Uh, hmm, not sure. Um, I think I'll go with. All right, so that Merce is probably really fast. I think I'll go with Alencia. And I'll bring Sonia. Where is she? Oh, here she is. Yeah, I'll bring Sonia. Along with Alencia. And I do want to bring a knight, but do I want to bring Fallen Cecilia? Yeah, I think Fallen Cecilia is pretty good. She's going to be making my team really tanky. Uh, yeah, looks good. Alright, let's go. Okay, so his third skill gives him greater attack buff and also an extra turn, so let's use that right away. Second skill inflicts extinction if it takes out the enemy. Also gives him 15% increased hit chance. Let's attack the Arbiter Vildred with it. Nine, 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 nine. That's a sweet number. No, that's a sweet number. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'll just be real. Uh, if that was a tanky counter set Arbiter Vildred, he would have survived. <laughs> So we got lucky it was a, a damage uh damage build. Wow, taking lots of damage. Okay, let's attack the shells. Okay, so I probably want to increase my Glenn's damage output and maybe lower his speed. Alright. 
so the greater attack buff lasts for two turns. Not bad. Right, now I just have to take out the shells. That's the only threat remaining. Right, third skill up. Let's use it. Okay, I can soul burn the S2 to increase damage. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I want to bring a Tag of Hell's Holder next time. Yeah. Um. I think I'll go with the S1 first. I want to use the S2 onto the crowd. Can't really take out the crowd yet. Uh, let's attack. Soul burn. That's not. That's pretty good damage because um, Crow has defense buff up. Not bad. Okay. So with the soul burn, it does do quite a bit of damage. Okay. Uh. I guess I'll provoke the... Um, hmm, what do I do here? Let's provoke the SSB, I guess. This is what the has me. That is indeed... Hmm. Not sure, actually. Okay, so... Uh, I'm just thinking. Uh, so the Merce is not that fast. She's like 220. Right, I'll go for the SSB here. Defense break, nice. We, we just have to take her out. Do I go for S3? Alright, so it basically gives you two turns of immunity to your team and also um heals you. Do I use it right now or do I save it? Yeah, use it. So I don't get defense broken by the SSB's counter attack. Okay. Hmm. Do I go for my third? Yeah. Let's give our team defense buff. So her second skill. Okay, so this. Okay, so it's a single target heal which dispels two debuffs. I don't need to use it yet. Okay, we won't get defense broken here because we have the immunity buff up. So burn for the 100% defense break. Nice. Good damage. Okay. This should take her out. She's defense broken. Nice. And I see how much it heals here. Um. <laughs> 1.5k. That is sad, alright, that's very sad. That heal is super lord, I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I mean, sure, um, well... I mean... Okay, like... My Sonya does not... It's, her S2 is not fully molded, alright? But she's only missing, like, 20% healing from the molas anyway. Like, it's not gonna help her much. Hmm. Let's have a look again. I mean, it's a it's, it's not a two turn cooldown, so it's not too bad. You can soul burn it to um to make it AOE, I guess. S3 heals decent, not bad. Yeah, I mean, I did see the multipliers for her, um, for her S2 heal, so I knew it was gonna be low beforehand. But I just wanted to see for myself, you know. 
like how low it was gonna be at. Let's see that again. Um, let's heal up the Cecilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah 1.5k. That is just sad. All right, that is that is really low. <laughs> yeah, so burn. Defense break. Nice. So Sonya looks to be basically a uh, a crappy Alencia. Yeah, that's a good way to describe her. <laughs> no, no, not Alencia. What am I talking about? Uh, Ale Angelica. She's basically a crappy version of Angelica. Alright, let's go for the S3 here. Nice, we actually landed it. Alright, good game. Next match. Nice. All right. Um. Hmm. Let's go for the. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Let's go for this tower. Okay. For the first battle. Hmm. So. I'll be taking out the Arbiter Vildred first and then after that the Ruel will bait the Remnant Violet. Seems like a plan. However, uh, do I want to bring Krau is the question here. Uh, no, I want to bring Krau into the second battle. Let's swap Krau with Cecilia. Yeah, reason being, um, there's a Shouse in the second battle, so I want to have my crowd baiting the shells. Alright, first battle looks good. Second battle... Um, can the Sonya tank both Fallen Cecilia and Apocalypse Ravi? I think so. Yeah. So, I'll bring my crowd and I think I'll go with, do I go with K-Ron? Um, I think K-Ron's pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I'll bring K-Ron uh, instead of, <laughs> I was going to say Crayon. I'll bring K-Ron instead of Alencia. Um... Looks good, I think. Let me check if my K runs geared. Um, he is geared. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so that's a very fast remnant violet. It's probably about two thirty, considering I'm like two forty something. I'm 240 something, right? On my Glen. Yeah, I think I gave him like 241 speed or something. Alright, let's give ourselves the greater attack buff. Now let's one shot the Arbiter, hopefully. So this Arbiter is gonna have Aureus protecting him from, uh, due to the crowd. So let's see if we can one shot. Okay, so we did 11.3k this time. We only did 9.999k earlier. So that means the um, the Arbiter Vildred from the first battle had a lot of defense. Yeah, had more defense. Alright, did I go for my S3? Now I'll save it. So Fallen Cecilia is really good versus um, Remnant Violet because you can basically use your S3 whenever um, you want. And by that I mean that you can use it uh, right before the Remnant Violet uh, uses his third or when you know his counter is up. up to 5, you can use it and then basically he's going to be wasting his third skill. So wait till I can soul burn it. Actually do I? Um, or do I want to soul burn uh, Glenn's third? Hmm. Not sure. It's attacked now, since we're 
these uh, provoked. Hopefully crowd is not provoked, dang it. Um let's go for our third. Who does take out the crowd? Is the question. Yeah, let's go for it. Nice. It did not, but uh, with well it will. Okay, now now Cecilia is not provoked since we took our crowd. Now we can go for our third. Okay. Hmm. Has no place for you. you got a problem? All right. Uh, nice to attack. Yeah. Nice. Glenn's pretty good. Pretty good. So you don't have these speed gears, you can pair him with a CR pusher or like, I don't know, yeah, basically a CR pusher. The, it does not have to be a loss because Glenn gives himself greater attack buff. Um, right, all of his units are on immunity, so I can't push any back. I'll just go for the shelf. Give everybody defense buff. Right, Charles has 14.7k HP. Go for the Charles here. Hopefully we don't get countered. Good. Right now I'll give everybody um, immunity and heal them up. See how much damage this does. We have defense buff, we should be good. Oh yeah, we, we even have the proof, uh, proof of Valor on her. So with that, and Aureus on Krell, and defense buff, she's gonna be really tanky. Alright, let's remove the skill nullifiers. And try and provoke. Counter set Ravi, okay. Wow. Crowd's taking some damage. Hopefully we blind some of them. Oh, please don't hit. Don't hit the second hit. Don't, don't. Alright, perfect. Okay. Um, Who do I heal here? Do I heal the crowd? I don't, I don't think I heal the crowd. I'll heal the... I'll heal myself. Yeah. Alright, now crowd can take out... Well... This probably will not take out the shells unless we hit him. Let's see about that. We hit him, so we'll take him out. Great. Okay. So burn, do some damage here. Nice, we blinded both of them. Let's push back the... I don't want to go for the Ravi, because she's on counter set. So I'll push back the Cecilia. Now what? Um, let's auto attack. So her S1 basically gives an ally with the lowest health uh, barrier. Okay, scales with her max HP. Right, let's go for S1 again. We do have Elias Knight, so we are doing okay in terms of damage. Okay, one thing going for Sonya is her cooldowns are pretty low, yeah? Uh, 4 turn S3, 2 turn S2. But then again, her S2, I mean, it does dispel 2 debuffs, but the healing multiplier is way too low. Like, way, way too low. Yeah, yeah, I'm to it. <laughs> if it was higher, then yeah, I can see her being pretty good. Alright, um, go for S1 here. Don't want to soul burn because I don't have attack buff. Dang it, units getting provoked. Can't use my S3. Mm, can't defense buff. Alright. Let's go for the Cecilia. This should do good damage. Nice. 
Alright, took her out. Let's take out the Ravi here. Actually, this won't take her out. It depends how much HP she has. Yeah, well, we did 20k. Alright, good. A good game. Oh, they're doing pretty well. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I really like Glenn. So Glenn's uh, kit is similar to the uh, the new uh, what's her name? The new ML ML Luluka. I forgot her name. Uh, top model Luluka, I think. Yeah. Uh, he's basically a lesser version of uh, the uh, Luluka, but they basically function similarly. Alright, so, hmm, how would this work? Alright, oh, okay, so since there's a Remnant Valid, uh, since that's a threat that Glenn needs to deal with, I'll give my Glenn Oath Key. Let me, let me find him real quick. Where is he? There he is. Alright, let's give him Oath Key. So, his second skill, his nuke, yeah, has a 15% uh, increased chance of hitting. With Oath Key, uh, he'll basically have 35% increased chance. Um, Remnant Valid has 50% base dodge, so basically we'll have 15% chance to miss only. However, if the Remnant Valid is on um, Moonlight Dream Blade, then we'll have a uh, 35% chance to miss. So the odds are still in our favor. But they're not great odds, yeah? Um, so I'll bring Glenn, hmm, Ruel, and... Do I bring Fallen Cecilia again? Yeah, uh, we need the protection. Uh, yeah, alright, I'll bring Fallen Cecilia. For the second battle... Okay, um, crowd's gonna be pretty good. Uh, here, um, Spring Sonya, but I need to change my damage dealer because there's a SSB. I can't bring K Ron. Um, so who do I bring? Do I want to change things up? Do I want to bring Basar? Uh, Basar's so so good, so good versus that team. I could go Basar Tywin. But if I go Bazaar Tywin, I won't have the damage. Yeah, I won't have the damage for the... Yeah, I'll have to take out Sonya. Alright, let me think. Um, it's a Sonya video, so I want to use her. Like I could even bring Rowana, but I don't want to bring two healers, so I think I'll do a lens here. Uh, Alencia, Sonia, and... Do I go Crow? I mean, Alencia is gonna be giving defense buff, so I don't really need to go Crow. A Tywin's gonna have that AoE um, stun, yeah? Hmm, let me think. Or do I go Bazaar Alencia? Yeah, let's go Bazaar Lens here. I mean... Hmm... Yeah, why not? Let's go. Never tried Bazaar Lens here. What? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> we nearly got outsped by the Remnant Valid. Let's see if we can hit him. If we hit him and take him out, then... Ruel cannot revive him because he'll be extinct due to the extinction effect. Boom! Wow! Come on! So tanky! So tanky, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If it's a tanky build, then you can't take him out. Wow, so he's not extinct. <laughs> he's not extinct now. Um, 
Yeah, Ruel's uh, uh, gonna use her, uh, her third onto him, so we can't really go for him. I mean, we can go for him, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, Ruel's gonna just use her third on him, so... Yeah, we need more damage for... Yeah, um, bottom line, bottom line is I'll need to give him more damage. Lower his speed. Hmm. Okay, uh... Keep attacking the Ruel. I don't want to bring Crow or... Uh, crowd too low, and I don't want to give the Ryolet stacks. I'm sure Fortune will be on our side today as well. Okay. Oh. Are you prepared for this? Do I soul burn? Nah. Don't need it yet. Okay, now I go for the um devrowl it, but I don't want to... I can't one-shot him. Can I with a soul burn? You know what? Let's try that. Let's test that out. Let's see if we can... We did! Alright, so we can one-shot him with a soul burn. Interesting. Now I just take out the crowd. Yeah, so maybe I don't need to go for more damage. I just have to incorporate uh, mage with Tiger Hills into my team composition so that way he can properly one shot with the Soul Burn. Mm. I don't need to use it. Okay, uh. Does Ruel have her... She does not have her revive. I'll use it. I'll use my second anyways. So this way she cannot revive the crowd. Are you prepared for this? Yeah, why, why use Lilibet when you can use Glenn, right? Like, he gives himself great attack buff. That's so strong. It's like really good. And he also has... um. But Lilibet does have more um, hit chance. I mean, Glenn does have that increased hit chance, yeah, 15%, but... Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, as you guys can see, I did land both of my attacks onto the Remnant Violet. Yeah, he's, she's just gonna use it on herself. I think he's pretty good. Um, Extinction is very powerful in the current meta. Yeah, greater attack buff, soul burn, 10k. Right. This Ruel is very tanky. Right, she doesn't have her skills up now. Um, yeah, one turn cooldown. So we have some time to deal damage here. Should take her out with the with the next attack. What's it called? Precise attack. Another thing is, um, in this fight, I gave my Glen um Oath key, so he's missing twenty percent extra damage due to portrait. That's that's actually a big reason why we did not one-shot that Remnant Violet at the start. But I think Portrait wasn't enough, yeah, because the Remnant Violet had like um, 11k HP and we did about 
8k, nearly 9k, so yeah, we needed more damage. Nice, we... Oh, dang it, we did not... We did not land it on to the... Um, do I S3 now? Nice, defense break. Yeah, we did not... Wow, come on. We did not strip the Cecilia. Alright, let's go for S3. Take note that my Sonya is only 5 star with like 19k HP, so um, she can still be a lot, she, I mean she can be a lot stronger if I 6 star her, like in terms of her healing and stuff. Right, Charles is doing loads of damage. Um. I do want to give my team defense buff, but I really want to take out the SSB. I really want to take out SSB ASAP. Wow, that goes my... Okay, we'll just take out the SSB. Nah, um, I'll heal up the Bazaar. <laughs> Look at that heal! Come on! 1.5k heal! <laughs> yeah, let's go for the S3 here on defense buff. Take out the Valencia. We may get countered by Charles if we did. Valencia is on Duranda, so he should get lots of CR push. Nice. Right now, I just have to take out Charles. Dang, counter. Charles has attack down, so he's not doing much damage. Wasted my soul burn there, did not, um, yeah, didn't see that it was Shao's turn next. Crap, um. Nice, alright, we did it. <laughs> that was really close, um. Wait, can the Cecilia beat us? Not sure. Getting provoked. Give our team a uh, defense buff here. If the Sicilia has a third up, then uh, we won't get provoked and we can use our heals. Yeah, she, I think she's got her third up now. Okay. Now we can heal up our team with uh, Sonya. Yeah, we should be good now because we have um, immunity buff too. Soul burn. Let's see if it's an AOE heal because I'm not sure. Um, it says effect is granted to all allies. Effect. What effect? Wait, yeah, AOE heal. Um, I just wish the healing was stronger. Like what? Um, let's say my Sonya is six star and. Um, she has like 25k HP, like how much is that gonna heal for? Like what, 2k? 2.5k? I mean, the healing's just so low. Sure it's not max molar, but it's only missing 20% healing from molars anyway. Well I guess molar is not the <laughs> the correct term, because she's a nat 3, so the correct term's what, stigma. It's not uh, fully leveled, I guess. It's the correct term. Okay, uh... I think this is the final match, eh? Wow, successful debut. Alright, so burn, defense break. Let's get in a defense break hit here. Do some damage. Um... Yeah, this should take her out. Well, so, yeah, it went well. I mean, I did play really safe by bringing a knight and a reviver with Glenn every single match, but hey, that's how I built him. Um, I basically made him self-sustaining by giving him all that damage and speed, so I needed to protect him. 
with a healer and a knight. So yeah, um, hmm. So initial thoughts after using them. First impressions. Uh, hmm. Um, Glenn's really good. Like he's really really good. Um, yeah, I think he's really good. Spectacular unit, especially for a three star. Um, top model Luluka is basically Glenn, but on steroids, yeah, because she also pushes her team, like CR push her team, and she gives herself stealth. So I think top model Luluka will be a very powerful unit, just because uh, Glenn's also pretty good. Um, he basically has the proper kit at countering um, uh, teams that need to use uh, revive, yeah. Um, hmm, yeah, Glenn's pretty good. As for Sonya, where is she? Um, uh, like, my Sonya is not properly built. I just basically stack uh, HP, like this gear, on my MO Haste. Um, let me show you guys. Um, where's my MO Haste? So the same gear on my MO Haste basically puts him at... Uh, let me see. So we've got immunity set. HP set. So my MO Haste basically has 25.3k HP with the same set. So yeah, uh, she is missing quite a bit of HP because she's not 6 starred. I think her final awakening's HP. It's defense, right? But yeah, so she is missing some HP. Um, her skills scales off of her max health, so the more HP she has, the stronger she becomes. So, um, she's basically Alencia. Um, I mean, I keep saying Alencia. Um, uh, Angelica. She's basically Angelica, but a verse version. Like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. She's a verse version of Angelica. Is what it feels like. Like. Angelica's S2, um, okay, so Angelica's S1 has a chance to stun, yeah? Which is better than granting barrier, in my opinion. Angelica's S2 um, heals two targets and is a stronger heal. However, Sonya has the ability to cleanse um, two debuffs from an ally, but the healing is so weak, like, it's extremely weak. And her third skill is basically the same as Angelica's third skill. Like, I haven't used Angelica in so long, but like, um, reading Sonya's kit just it basically it just screams at Angelica. I mean, she's basically light Angelica. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so Glenn definitely is a good unit. So I do recommend building him. Um, especially if you have trouble dealing with Arbiter Fildreds, um, he can just one-shot Arbiter Fildred. You can pair him with um, Green Lots, A Lots, and just one-shot Arbiter Fildred. Um, yeah, really good unit. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's Guild Wars video. If you did, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to join my Epic 7 Discord. The link is down below in the description. So yeah, have a great day guys, Sodi signing out.